Are you in total control of your life? What if you find yourself out of control? In Genesis, it says, come, let us go down and confuse their language so that they will not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there all over the face of the whole earth, and they stopped building the city. Now, that's from, from Genesis chapter 11, verses 7 and 8. And it's the story of the Tower of Babel. And you have this group of people that decided that they were going to build a city and they were going to build a tower that would reach to the heavens and they were going to become like God, so they thought. And God recognized that they were of the impression that they were in control of everything. And they thought way too much about themselves or more highly of themselves than what they should have. So God decided that he was going to put them in a state of confusion. And he changed their language so they couldn't understand each other. And then scattered them across the face of the world, the face of the earth. Do you ever feel like that? Like you are in total control one day. You've got everything under control and all of a sudden the rug is pulled out from underneath of you and now you're in total uncontrol total disarray total total chaos what do you do in those situations you know there are a lot of people in the government that think that they are in total control and they're finding themselves being totally out of control and without control at all like they thought they had There are people in national, federal government, in state, in local governments that all thought they had control of everything. And then crazy things happen like a virus, a little teeny tiny microscopic virus comes into our world and disrupts everything that's going on. You know, it's so interesting that one day we think we're in control and the next day, We get a message. I just got a text message a few moments ago. It says, the city of Dallas shuts down all bars, gyms, taverns, and nightclubs and restricts gatherings to no more than 50 people. What if you're in control of an event and the event is supposed to have 200, 500, 1,000, 5,000 people or more? And one day you get a, a message from the governor or from a city, or from whomever, and they say, you're not having that event. We are closing that venue completely. You're out of control. What if your business is all of a sudden shut down? You have a restaurant, and you can no longer earn a living by providing a valuable service to your customers. You know, I'm hearing all over the country, different restaurants and coffee shops and fast food places and so forth, they're closing their dining areas completely. You can go and use the drive through but you cannot go and sit in the restaurant. You're out of control. And people are trying to do the best job they possibly can, but you're out of control. So what do you do? Well, the only thing that you can do that is reliable is turn to the one who is reliable. Turn to the sovereign God. Turn to the creator of the universe, the one who is in total control of virtually everything. And I said recently, can you imagine with all of this stuff that's going on with the virus that is is supposed to be so devastating, I'm not trying to minimize things, understand that, but can you imagine God the Father looking at Jesus the Son and saying, wow, I didn't see that coming. I hadn't heard of that that virus before. Now, God knew everything that was going on. He knew exactly where we would be on this very day in this, this bit of chaos, this crisis that we find ourselves in. So instead of freaking out, instead of becoming so fearful that you become paralyzed and can't do anything, Think about the fact that God is in control and he can spread the people across the face of the earth if he wants to. He can change our languages if he chooses to. That's how much control God has. 
And he's got the same control over each of us and providing for all of our needs. So rely on God. Trust that he is going to provide you with the things that you need on a day-to-day basis. Look to God. Let him bring you the peace that passes all understanding, and he will. This is Steve Reed. I'm with Stephen Reed Ministries. If you need to talk, I'd love to visit with you. I'd love to be an encouragement to you. And I hope that that is exactly what this video is doing for you today. It's being a bit of an encouragement to you. Trusting God. Don't fall prey to fears. And let God guide and direct your paths. That's all I've got for today. I hope you have a blessed day today. Goodbye for now.